Hello everybody, my name is Prunes, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into today's happy vegan video, you know what to do. Remember to subscribe and tap that notification bell so you never miss a video. Today's video is going to be a beginner's guide to being vegan. We're talking the very basics. As an artist, I want to make sure that what I'm putting out into the world is positive and helpful in some way. Ethical and cruelty-free living is such a big part of my life, so I really hope you enjoy this video and getting to know me just that little bit better. So breaking down this video into chapters, so you can click around and navigate the way you'd like to. So what is vegan? Being vegan means that you don't eat, wear, or use animal products or animal byproducts. So let's talk about how I went vegan. For me, my journey to going vegan was something that I would highly recommend to anybody who's thinking of going plant-based. It all started about six years ago when I watched a film called Blackfish that changed my outlook on the factory farming and animal entertainment industry. I went from omnivore, which is a meat eater, to pescatarian, which means white meat only, to vegetarian, which means eating animal byproducts but not the meat, to vegan over the course of about four years. So then where do I start? So it's easy to get started. You don't need to go cold turkey vegan because that will result in you getting pretty malnourished, eating bread in place of protein, and not really knowing what to eat. Think of it as simple swaps and take your time. It could be years before you feel completely comfortable going plant-based and that is also okay. Start by focusing on one food that you like and finding a plant-based alternative and do your research to make sure that you feel comfortable eating those ingredients. It may be honey that you want to swap for date syrup. You may drink cow's milk and want to swap that for almond, coconut, oat or rice milk. But is being vegan expensive? So it's pretty easy to slip into the vegan junk food vortex. Oreos, fake meats, sugary kombuchas, vegan pizzas and plant-based cakes are everywhere now. And it can add up to be quite expensive. And just because it says vegan does not mean it's healthy. I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's called plant-based for a reason. To paraphrase, take your time and eat the rainbow. Now let's talk about one for one and realistic living. I like to think of going vegan as one for one. When you first go vegan, that doesn't mean that you have to throw out all your non-vegan products out the window because that's only going to lead to more waste. Use what you have and dispose off thoughtfully easy fix. An example of this was that I was using a plastic loofah in the shower and I swapped that out for a plant-based loofah that I found at Priceline. It's not only made of plants but you can also return it to earth when it's finished and it's fully biodegradable. You really want to make sure that this extends to something that you can do every single day. So what I found was that I was actually collecting, oh that's a bird, <laughs> a large amount of single-use plastics such as straws, cutlery, coffee cups, and shopping bags. When the shopping bag transition happened, I bought my own cloth bag that would be stronger, and from buying that, it actually donated some of the money to charity, rather than using a 90 cents plastic bag that was unfortunately a non-recyclable item. I then swapped my straws from single-use plastics to metal, and if you do the same thing, the turtles will definitely thank you. Plus, you can put them in your handbag and take them with you if you're going out. I also bought my own keep cup and cutlery to make sure that I minimize my use of single-use plastics. One for one. It's that simple. Let's not overcomplicate things. So next I'm going to talk about some of my all-time favorite vegan documentaries. Most of these should be available on Stan or Netflix wherever you are in the world. These are my top vegan films that I highly recommend watching. Blackfish, Game Changers, What the Health, Fat Sick and Nearly Dead, 1 and 2, Oksha, Cowspiracy, Food Inc, Love and Bananas, and The Cove. I recommend watching these over a period of time. Try not to binge watching content like this. Some of the images that are shown in these films can be quite confronting if you've never been exposed to that before. I would recommend watching these films over a period of time. Next, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite vegan books. I absolutely love Vegan Style, Plant Powered Women, and there's also Plant Powered Men. Happy Food, which is my favorite cookbook. And I have to say, it has become a staple best friend whenever I need to go to the supermarket. <laughs> and Thriving on Plants. Now let's talk about nobody being perfect. It's really easy to look at perfectly tanned raw vegans online and then compare your easy vegan mac and cheese to their raw zoodles and homemade kombucha. Being vegan is a lifestyle choice, not an Instagram photo shoot. Don't beat yourself up if you accidentally drink some cow milk when you're first starting out. You're human and small changes lead to big things. Kindness and compassion. It's okay if your family doesn't quite understand what being vegan is yet. I got so much confusion from people not really understanding what it was and I got the usual questions like, where do you get your protein from? What do you eat? Is chicken vegan? Whew. 
Instead of screaming, meat is murder in their face, this is a great opportunity to show them kindness, compassion, and open a healthy conversation about going plant-based. Veganism at its core is about kindness and showing compassion to all living things. So why not show them what they're missing out on? So here are my final thoughts. Be kind to all living things. Be a voice for the voiceless and think about where your food comes from. This video is intended for absolute beginners who just wanna know a little bit more about what being plant-based means. So if you like what you saw today, please remember to subscribe to my channel and please leave me a comment if you have any questions and I'd be more than happy to make a part two or talk about a specific topic. Vegan and ethical living is such a large part of my life and I hope on this channel you can learn a little bit more about me and also my work. Remember to thumbs up the video, subscribe, tap that notification bell and follow me on my socials and I will see you in my next video.